guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I created this look here. I created this look using the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. I did a review on this palette a little while ago. I'll leave the link in the description bar down below if you guys are interested in hearing my review. So I actually created this look a few months back and I absolutely loved how it turned out. But and I was going to apply, apply? I was going to upload it to YouTube. But then, like, literally the whole footage of me doing the eye look disappeared and I couldn't find it anywhere. And that was the main point of the video. So I thought I would recreate it today because I've been dying to recreate it. To prime the eyelids, I'll be taking my Fit Me Concealer. Just to set that down, I'll be taking my Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder. Just to make sure that any eyeshadow we put on top blends out seamlessly. So the first shade we're going to go in with is Cat Cena. The next shade I'll be going in with is Jarmilla. Then taking the shade Sokoto. Taking a clean fluffy brush and just blending that out. to set that concealer down just because the Saharan palette doesn't have a like bone type of colour I'll be taking this colour here from the TARDIS Pro palette this is in the shade Vintage then I'll be taking Wadabi this is just going on half of the eye the shadow is seriously pigmented. So what I love about these shadows is you don't need to use any fix plus to make them metallic. They are just like that regardless. I'm just taking a pencil brush and I'll be taking the shade Chad. On the outer half. Sorry that you can hear all the traffic in the background. I live next to a main road, so that's why. I'm just going to start blending that black out now, just because it looks a little crazy. Trying not to get it into the crease. Now 
Then I'm just going to take, just taking a makeup wipe, I'm just going to clean up the edge. Take my what's your type? Just gonna take your just gonna take what's your type mascara by the balm. And coat my lashes. on these lashes from EXO Beauty, the Romantic. <laughs> They're a bit dirty but I'm running out of lashes so. For primer I'm going to be taking my NYX Photo Loving Primer. Just going to focus this where I have the most redness around my pimples. Then of course I'm going to be taking my Professional by Benefit. I want full, because I want really full coverage, I'm going to be taking my Infallible I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I know this looks like a lot, but that's because it is. <laughs> I just really want flawless, or as flawless like, as I can get my skin. This is honestly only about two pumps, so it's not that much really. Making sure not to get any of my brows. Dragging it down my neck just because I do have acne scarring down there. And just to make sure my neck matches my face. Then I'm going to be blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Usually don't like to use beauty blenders to blend in my foundation. Just feel like it, feel like it kind of takes away the coverage. But with my beauty blender, it's so nice because I usually use the Chi Chi ones, which I do love. But this one just blends everything out so nice. Now I see what the hype was about these. I just wish they weren't so damn expensive. So it's like $32 for one of these and the Chi Chi ones it's like $24, $25 for like four of them. It's crazy. For my concealer I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape. I kind of need to stop using this because I'm running out. And I need to order one before I run out because Tarte takes forever to ship to New Zealand. I'm just going to take some on that area. I got pimples. I don't think I washed my makeup off properly last night, and that's why my skin is really bad today. Whip. Oh, my lash just popped off. Ouch. Setting their concealer down with my translucent powder, RCMA, of course.
bronzer, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer. I know I use this quite a lot, but I'm literally obsessed. Like, this is my favourite bronzer right now. Because I was going to fall out. So if you don't have this bronzer, you really need to try it. I never really get like obsessed with bronzers. Like I've never really tried a bronzer that I'm like in love with until I tried this one. This one is for sure my fave. For contour, I'm gonna be taking my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. And I'm just gonna be mixing this shade and just the tiniest bit of that darker shade. I really want a sharp contour because I feel like it's such a dramatic look that I need it. It's funny, I was watching one of my like first ever videos I put on oh, my squeaky chair. I was watching one of my first videos that I ever put on to YouTube. And oh my god, my contour, like that was only like, what, seven months ago or eight months ago? It was terrible, and I was just like, <laughs> like, bad. But it's funny, because I'll probably look back in another eight months time and look at my makeup now and be like, what was I thinking? <laughs> That's what I love about doing this though, like filming it everything for taking photos is because I can look back and be like look how much I've grown doing my makeup because it's sitting here and I can't really be bothered grabbing another one I'm going to be taking my Tarte blush in the shade pop I pray that that did not just break I don't want to pick it up we're good. So I'm just going to be taking my Mary Lou by the Balm. I want to see this highlighter. So good. For the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking Jamila and Sokotu. And on just on the outer, I'm going to be taking Chad. I'm mixing up between these two Kat Von D ones. I really want to do the pink one. I just don't know if it'll suit. So I think I'm just going to put it on. And if I don't like it, I'll just take it off. This is in the shade Beloved. They have a weird scent. I don't know, is it a little too much? No. these lipsticks. I really hope they don't get drying. It's a little bit patchy. But I mean I love the colour. Just to finish the look off I'm going to be taking my Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is just a cute little sample. Smells really bad, but I like it. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I hear stuck in it. Oh my god. One thing I never do in my makeup routine is set my brows. Like I do it sometimes, but just not all the time because I'm too lazy. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big video, video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.